so pricing of your uh, online course. So uh, let's speak a, a little bit about this. So how to identify what is the right price? Is it too much, too less? These are always headaches, <laughs> I think, that people have when, they, when they're creating their course. So how do you deliver or how they, do you identify the exact price for yourself? So there are three factors that I usually look at. Mm -hmm. The simplest equation is you figure out your outcome, figure out the value of your outcome, divide that by 10, and that's your sale of a course. That's what you're selling it for. <laughs> Why divide it by 10? Yeah, so 10% of the, what the outcome promises yeah. is an easy sale, usually, right? So, and this works every time. Like I just had a lady who promises to uh, business owners six yeah. figures okay. in one year of taking her course. So that's about $100,000. She sells yeah. this course for roughly $10,000, super easy sale. Yeah. Because, because the return on investment yeah. is 10 times, right? So in, that's the simplest, simplest formula, right? Okay. However, two other big factors. One, how good are you at selling? Mm -hmm. Right? Because anything below $300, easy to sell. From three to 900, good offer, good positioning. Anything more than that, and you need some actual skills to get mm -hmm. people to trust you and, and get this from you, right? So even if you have a big outcome, but you're a crappy salesperson and yeah. don't really know what you're doing, you might want to divide by 20 because that 10 <laughs> is still going to be a little too hard for you to, <laughs> to go past, right? Yeah. The third one is what kind of shoppers do you want? Do you want the Walmart shoppers? The ones mm -hmm. who, you know, go to Udemy and, and, you know, will like give you a hard time over $15? Or do you want more of the Nordstrom luxury shoppers? who actually value what they're buying and are much yeah. easier to deal with, right? So these three things you need to look at, who do yes. you want to deal with? What is the value? And then am I a good salesperson? Mm. Right? Because all and, of them. Yeah. Yeah. And if it comes, uh, when, when it comes to selling, this is also something that many people are terrified about. So I, mm. I'm not a salesperson. Because, but many people forget that it is a skill that you can learn and train. So <laughs> that's always something that many people forget, uh, in my opinion. It, it's true. It's a, it's a learnable skill. But what I'm saying is, if you have an outcome mm -hmm. that's, let's say, $10,000, right? Yeah. Just the value of the outcome. You yeah. know? And you sell a course for $150, and people actually do think that, you know, the outcome is worth that. You can have the worst sales technique and people will actually be telling you, can you just shut up so I can buy? Uh, uh. Like I've seen this happen before. So this is why you need to put that in, into your, you know, evaluation. You know, if you're really crappy, don't go at the higher end, you know, go at the lower end and at least you're going to get a ton of sales because people are going to be like, yeah, this is a no brainer. Yeah. I get it. You're crappy at selling your funnel sucks, but I, I think this is valuable. Right? Yeah. So it will, it will help me. It will help me. To it will, yeah. It will help you. Grow. Yeah. And, and it's going to help you get more confident and then eventually maybe pay someone to fix the entire funnel so that you can <laughs> now sell, you know, for whatever the upper range without problems. Yeah. But often I see, you know, people either devalue it and then they get into that, where I'm not no longer a Nordstrom shopper who thinks this yeah. is valuable. I'm now a Walmart shopper who would like 30 hours of content and some toilet paper with it. And then, you know, you have a different problem because to them, everything's too expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So this is why you need to kind of understand like, you know, which area of the people you also want to deal with. You want to be with mm -hmm. the Nordstrom shoppers usually. And if you're just a crappier salesperson, just be on the lower end, but don't go into that, you know, area where the Nordstrom shoppers like this is garbage. No one would sell it for that cheap, right? You have mm -hmm. to always think about that too.